all right so my last video got cut off <laughs> at 10 minutes so um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do, this, I'm gonna do the same thing um, I'm just gonna check them I got a couple more uh, dividers I need to put in um, but this is the one that uh, uh, last week I said that the Queen hadn't been released and the next day I came out to release her and uh, she fell out of her cage and then the bees proceeded to uh, kill her so I called my bee guy and I said hey I'm I don't know what to do <laughs> and he said well there's chances are there's probably another queen in there and uh, so he came out we opened the hive up and sure enough there were egg cells or egg uh, eggs had been laid in uh, in some of the cells so there was a queen in there all along um, I guess she had gotten shaken out um, when the when he was you know getting the bees ready to go so no harm no foul um, but same thing here I'm gonna move the backboard I'll probably just go ahead and just take it out um, oh there they go and if you you set them like this <laughs> um, and give them a little nudge um, Sometimes they'll just walk right in. They'll just walk in. Come on. Okay. <laughs> or they'll just get pissed off at me. And um, but no, there they go. See, look, they just they just walk right in. They just follow each other. Say, hey, uh, get back to the house. And look, see, they just. We'll just walk right in. That way, I don't have to shake them or or slam them off or or piss them off any further. Um, so you got, they got their butts in the air. They're saying, "Hey, I don't know what's going on here, but we're getting out of dodge." Um, but you know, for the most part, see, they all just kind of went home. All right. So, for the rest of them, I'll just give them a little tap. And we're good. All right. That probably didn't make them feel very good, so I'm going to give them a little, more, a little smoke. All right, just a little. All right, so these guys have been busy too. Uh, and I'm gonna separate their comb. See, oh, that's a good picture of the comb. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I wish that if the sun was behind us, you'd be able to see really clear. But uh, yeah. Pretty amazing engineers, if you ask me, because each one of those cells is exactly the same size, it's exactly the same depth, um, and they got the, the, you see the ones that got the, they got their their heads buried in there. They're uh, they're depositing either nectar uh, or um, sugar water, or because I've let the sugar water get kind of low, they might be eating some of that uh, some of that nectar right now. But same thing, I'm looking for eggs. I see eggs. So again, Queen is doing her job. Excellent. So this will be a quick check. And if my timer runs out and the video stops, I'll just keep talking to myself. Um, but yeah, they. I definitely put them on alert by doing that. They're, they're not pissed or anything, but... Um, You see that top part there right here this is capped that's what they say capped and it's kind of indented um, so that tells me it's 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 nectar um, 
it'll look like that when it's when it's capped with honey too. When it when they cat when the brood when the eggs get a little bit bigger, um, and larvae uh, uh, is ready to be capped to turn into the worker bees, uh, they'll cap it like that too. But it'll be uh, convex, um, and that's how you tell the difference. But you'll usually see a line of food or nectar or honey at the top, and then your brood down at the bottom. So that's exactly what they're doing here. And again, I'm looking for eggs. I see eggs. So yeah, these guys are hopping. They are enjoying life, so to speak. Um, you know what, I'm gonna put my spacers in while I can. So I don't have to mess with it. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm sure you're all wondering, what are the spacers for? Well, honeycomb is one and uh, five eighths inch thick, whereas brood comb is one and three eighths inch thick. So you put the spacer on there uh, to. Oh, I got beetles in here uh, to uh, encourage them to build their honey on the back side of the hive uh, and keep their brood stores up front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, perfect. Get out of your beetle. Nice and slow. Oh, without jarring movements like that. All right, calm down. Uh, yeah. Okay, see, okay, there. This is capped brood. It's convex, whereas the food stores are concave. Those, uh, there's bees in there. And they're probably about nine to 12 days old. And um, they will hatch in about a week and a half. So they generally hatch in about 21 days. Um, so that is exactly what I'm looking for right now. That is perfect. I'm happy. The bees seem happy. Good stuff. All right, that is exactly what we're looking for. So. I'm gonna finish up this inspection real quick and then get them closed up and not bother them any more than I have to. That seems the worst part is just removing that comb from the side so I don't break any more comb off. All right, same thing, got cap brood. That is perfect. Or as perfect as an amateur beekeeper doing this for the first time uh, says it is. So, um, but yeah, as far as I know, that's what it's supposed to look like. And if you notice also, there's like cells that are skipped, right? In between um, some of the brood. So like, it's like they, there's holes, right? Well, what they'll do is they use that for temp control. So if it gets too hot or too, or, or whatever, they will actually, a bee will get in there and fan their, fan their wings um, and cool down that section of the hive. So the holes there are actually very strategic. And again, no, I don't know how they do it. They they just figure it out, but um, there's a purpose to why they leave those uh, those gaps there, which is kind of cool. All right. Here, I'll get you a close up. 